two that I just know as growing up, if you think about it, even Crips and Bloods come together as a unity to dwell, to fight for what's there. Let me pause right there. That gangbanging is ungodly. That we do not gangbang because if you understood gangbanging is a form of idolatry and full of idol worship. Because if you believe to live and die for a color or for a neighborhood or for a name, that means you can only serve one master. And the Bible says that you cannot serve both masters at the same time. But as all type of unities in this world, we come together today as a unity. And I'm glad to see how it is today because, yes, in here there are whites and there are blacks. But the one thing I love about it, you understand that if you are of Christ, that we are all brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. <laughs> one thing about David understood that's against unity is the vision. And this is Satan's one deception amongst men is the vision. That even from the get-go, from the day of the war in heaven, there was a division where Satan caused a third of the stars to follow him to have a war in heaven. I believe that's in Revelation 12 chapter. Satan even convinced Adam and Eve to bring a division amongst God when they forbid and ate of the forbidden fruit. That Satan from the get go still today is bringing division amongst people, against organizations to fight against each other because one thing the, do, the devil do know is he knows the word of God. He knows that a house divided won't stand. Anything that you have unity in and there's a division in it, it won't stand. What do you think how this country is going through? It's going through division because a house that's not together will not stand. So that goes as any nation, any world, any family. There are so many families today that's divided. Yeah. So many families that's in division because they can't stand each other. They're yeah. not knowing the devil says that and the devil knows that if there's a division amongst you, there will be no foundation. But we need to understand that we need to come back to unity and dwell together in unity. Yeah. Now, Whoever brought this scripture in this program, I like to thank you because what that I want to bring out is that this is the NIV version. This is the new international version because in the King James version, it says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. But this is broken down a little bit better where it says that how good is it for God's people to live together. So it lets me know that everybody is not God's people. If you believe it or not, we are all God's creation. Yes, God created us all. We are all in the image of God, but everyone is not God's people. Everyone is not a believer in Jesus Christ. God had the Israelites as his chosen people at that time, and they had foreigners right there with them. But God, the way he said it is basically is that you either with me or you against me. If you are against God, you are not God's people. You are his creation because the day of Noah, God created all those people. But guess what? He destroyed all those people except Noah. It was only eight souls saved, and that was Noah and his family because they was with God. So you either God's people or you either with the devil. Jesus said that in John the eighth chapter, you are your father, the devil, that the lust of him that you do, and that, that he was a murderer from the beginning, and the truth was not in him. So it lets you know that you dwell in unity with Christ, or you dwell in unity with the devil. You only have two choices of who you dwell your <laughs> unity in. Now, who is my brother? I want to break this down. Brethren is not your blood brother. <laughs> You may have a blood brother, but that might not be your spiritual brother. You may be born by the same mama. You may have the same daddy, but that might not be your spiritual brother. Let me give you an example. You had Cain and Abel. One was of God and one was of the devil. And but both came from Adam and Eve, but there was a separation <coughs> in between both of them. Then now your brother is not your kin folks. Some people think just because we can, that is your brethren. Now, not all kinfolks are 
on your brother. I don't care if every day is hey kid folk or hey cousin or hey cousin, how's it going? And all those type of things. But only the one that does the will of the Father is your brother. Now, not last, last but not least, is that we tend to call people our same skin color our brother. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what, that you can have the same skin color, but that might not be your spiritual brother. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to say is that skin don't make you thin. <laughs> skin does not make you thin. You can have the same skin, and the same skin color can do you just as wrong just as the opposite skin color. And just how things go in life. But we got to be careful how the devil deceives us and how he gets us to look at things. God looks at us as a clear glass. We look at each other as different colors. But God, what he sees in us is that we all bleed the same yes, color. Sir, yes, sir. How good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Jesus was out teaching. And his mother and his brother came and they wanted to speak to Jesus. And they said, Jesus, your mother and brother wants to talk to you. In Matthew the 12th chapter, verse 46, I believe, Jesus looked around and said, who is my mother and my brother? Could you imagine how his mother was feeling at that time when he said that? Could you imagine how his brothers and sisters, yes, Jesus had brothers and sisters too, as well. Could you imagine how they felt when Jesus said that? He looked around and pointed at his disciples. And said, this is my brothers and their sisters. These are my mothers that say Christ. But those that does the will of the Father are my brother and sister. What is the will of the Father? In John the 6th chapter, verse 39, I believe, it says the will of the Father is to believe on him that was sent. So if you believe on the one that is sent, you are a brother and sister in Christ Jesus. Amen? You have to believe and receive someone, right? To be able to be a part of Jesus. To be a part of God's family, you would have to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. And last time I checked, the whole world has received Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you receive Christ as Lord and Savior, as your shirt say, give me Jesus. I know that. I like your shirt. Give me Jesus. Is that you can have brothers and sisters in Russia. You can have brothers and sisters in Ukraine. You can have brothers and sisters in Africa, Canada, Europe. South America, North America, you can have if somebody standing in Antarctica. If they believe in Jesus Christ as they Lord and Savior, they is your brother and sister in Christ Jesus. I wouldn't care if the person came from Pluto, Pluto Mars, and stopped by Turkey and landed here and thought of Big Mac and still say they received Jesus Lord and Savior. They is your brother and sister in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Christ is the Lord. He brings unity. And this is why he was sent. He was sent to bring Jews and Gentiles together. He was sent to bring everyone to one fund for us to receive. Unity means togetherness. Unity means harmony, peace. And the only way we can have peace is in the Prince of Peace, and that is Jesus Christ. That in unity means one. Marriage is a form of unity. When a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves to his very own wife, they become one flesh. That's unity. That when a team, if you think about a team, football team or whatsoever, they all have many players in different positions on the field, on the court, or wherever they may be. But guess what? They still one team. They are still in one unity. And those, what I have just named, is that these people argue. These people that have disagreements. We have disagreements within our family, but we still come together on one accord to make ends meet. What is our one accord that we come unto? And that is the doctrine of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, have one mind, one like mind, and one accord. Let this mind be in you that is also in Jesus Christ. That we all need to have the mind of Christ that we dwell in unity. Amen. Amen.